Cam Lions 2018. Always great to speak to somebody that we speak to quite regularly here on Marketing Media Money, and that's uh, Raja Rajaman, the CMO of MasterCard. Raja, welcome. What you. are you doing here in Cam? This is a very exciting moment for me all the time. Every single year when I come here, uh, there is so much of new creative stuff that you get to see here. Uh, that can be very inspiring and act as a thought starter for our own activities and campaigns. I get to meet a few technology companies and understand the latest and the best. I get to connect with all the thought leaders and my peers who otherwise it's very difficult to connect and find the time for. So all of this happens in a concentrated four or five day period and uh, that's something very exciting and I make it a point not to miss it. We spoke earlier in the year and you like these events because you get to see the bright, sparkly, spangly technology. Is there anything here that's catching your eye that you think can get value in MasterCard? I think I haven't seen yet, because today is only still the second day, uh, any such technology which I can say, yep, this is something which I'll go and take and implement it. But what I have seen is some of the deployments of artificial intelligence uh, in other business contexts that the other companies are doing. Uh, and that, in fact, we are already deploying artificial intelligence as a company uh, in multiple areas, including marketing. Uh, but these have given me some new possibilities of what I have seen here. And uh, I would say so far that has been one key takeaway. Uh, and uh, I, I think uh, that's something which is doable pretty quickly and I'm very excited about it. Diversity and equality are always a big issue here at Can Lions, uh, particularly last year and again this year. And you've been talking about it. So, I mean, what's your take on, on where we are going? What's the direction of travel? How far are we are going to be from a destination? I think we, are, we have begun the journey as an industry. Uh, some are a little ahead of the journey, some are a little behind. So for example, from MasterCard perspective, we focused on gender pretty significantly over the last few years. So this is not a journey that we are doing, uh, we have begun now, but this has been in the process for a while. And uh, the basic idea behind is 80% of all the purchase decisions that are made are done by women. So, who understands women the best? And do we have those people on our own teams? So at the beginning point, the starting point, is the marketing organization. So today, within the marketing organization globally, uh, we have got close to 75% of all the people are women. And this is not just at the junior levels, this is right up to my direct levels. And that is something which we feel very good about, that we have made a good movement and momentum. That's number one. Number two, uh, we have been very fortunate that our focus on gender diversity and equality has been uh, there for a while, that we are now reaping the fruits of. As an example, when you look at our advertisements, uh, A, we have never been stereotyping uh, women in those ads are positioning them in any demeaning roles or objectifying them. That has never been there. But what we started doing is to fine tune our communication in a way that really appeals to the women. That improves the effectiveness of the ad while also representing women with the right level of uh, importance and uh, priority. So that's number two. Number three, once you have got great ads, you want to reach where these women are. and. Uh, we have started relooking at our entire media planning in a way to optimize reach to women and not just to the overall audience. Fourth, I would say, is we started looking at GEM scores, which uh, ANA has started. And uh, we felt very honored and humbled when one of our uh, ads, uh, I'm Chloe, which was launched uh, uh, together with uh, Annika Sorenstrom, was rated in the top five GEM scores. And uh, we said, that's great. Now, can we do that for every single ad that we are producing? And so from that perspective, we are creating our own process internally that everything goes through an equivalent of a GEM score. So we are really optimized for women. One last point I want to mention is regarding sponsorships. So in the past, for example, we used to concentrate in certain areas for sponsorships. Now with our increased focus on sponsorships, we said here is an opportunity to really broaden the appeal. So we have gone into areas like music in a big way, into uh, fashion, into culinary, uh, into travel, and so on, so that uh, firstly the appeal has broadened, number one. Number two, we also have a number of 
brand ambassadors who are women who are truly inspiring. Like I mentioned about Annika Sorenstrom, or we got Lena, or we have got Siza. Now these people are such amazing, uh, inspir inspiring uh, individuals uh, for future generations to really emulate. And uh, so we are approaching the entire value chain, starting with the organizational construct and going all the way to experiential marketing. If I can just add one point, one other thing we are trying to do is... That's six, by the way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but in, if you were to look at our own company right now, we are a technology company. Attracting the right talent is important. Many girls don't want to enter into the STEM areas. So we began an outreach to girls who are between the age of 10 and 13 and try to teach them about coding. Tell them that math is not something which, you know, uh, you don't have to be worried about and so on. And we have created this program called Girls for Tech. And our objective is to reach 200,000 uh, girls across the world uh, by 2020. But it's all very well you're doing that. You still have to have a culture where that is welcoming that women do not feel intimidated by. What are you doing at that level to make sure that MasterCard, whether it's in marketing or the technology side, that is nurtured? So we set the tone right from the CEO down. Uh, we celebrate women, uh, their performance at the company is absolutely on par if not above any man. We highlight those. We have more than 2,000 volunteers uh, in the company who are now reaching out to girls in various schools in the age group of 10 to 13 to get them excited and inspired about STEM areas. Uh, we have started looking at how we are uh, recruiting our talent and whether the slate from which you recruit has a fair representation of the women. Do we have the right kind of environment within the company to make these women feel at home? So we want to actually, we have been consistently featured as one of the best places uh, for women to work at. And that's something which is happening because we are taking policies which are women friendly. Uh, like uh, we have increased the uh, amount of leave that people have after maternity, the maternity leave as an example. Uh, and we also have programs to have women who have gone off on uh, maternity leave and have not been able to come back to their careers at other companies to give them a chance to restart their career. And we have got in multiple countries, we're running those kind of programs. So there is a concerted, focused effort across the company to make sure that MasterCard is a great place for women to work at and enable them, empower them, and uh, construct the organization right from the get-go uh, with a composition of women being in the ratio of what we want. Uh, and like I said, in marketing, we have 75% uh, of the uh, uh, folks we have on our team are women. Doing well. I can't let you go without asking for your thoughts on what happened with the, the World Food Programme and the backlash against it. In your own words, briefly, what did you hope to achieve from it and why do you think you got it wrong? So, first and foremost, we have made a multi-year commitment, uh, which in fact will culminate end of this year with a contribution of 100 million meals, uh, which we are donating. That objective and purpose is something which we are not losing sight of. That's a very important one. While we are raising this uh, 100 million meals donation, what we're also trying to do is to raise awareness to the issue of hunger. And we are deploying our brand ambassadors and our sponsorship assets to raise that awareness. And this campaign is running around the world, across multiple countries, multiple timings. One sliver, a tiny sliver of the campaign, did not get through to the consumers the way we intended to. The intentions were that we would actually contribute 100 million meals by the end of this year, but I guess it got perceived that we are only going to make contributions if somebody scores a goal. When we realized that that was the take, we said let's make an adjustment immediately because our commitment remains firm. We don't want to lose sight of the purpose. And we immediately modified and we said we are going to make this money, uh, make this uh, meal contribution irrespective of what happens. And uh, our partnership with World Food Program and various local agencies that remain steady. And we want to continue absolutely to raise awareness around hunger and we will continue that effort and that's right. what you I accept have. a mistake was made in terms of the, the process and, and what the intention is not how it was received 
Absolutely, the intention was uh, very uh, clear from our perspective. But if a part of the campaign is not communicating that intent to the consumers, we have to recognize that, we have to accept it, and then we have to move on after making the adjustments. And once we made the adjustments, what has been so encouraging for us is the feedback has been extremely positive. And we continue with our momentum, and so far I'm very happy to report that as of today, we have about 75 million meals already uh, in our uh, kitty to contribute, and we are very well on track to achieve the 100 million meal mark by the end of the year. Congratulations, Roger. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.